Good morning. Um, my name is prisoner number 728606, St. Joseph's County, Indiana. And I just was released from jail several hours ago. And I'm one of those right-wing abortion wackos that you've heard so much about. I want to tell you just a bit about me, and most people call me Ed. Um, I'm from New Mexico. I, I've raised cattle on and off all my life. I live at the base of a beautiful Gila wilderness. Just last weekend I was walking in the mountains, gorgeous country, God's country, with my grandson and son and my wife of 36 years. So that sounds kind of wacko, I guess. My church is small. There's 24 pews, 24 people seats in our church. And uh, this whole weekend in jail, I kept thinking about those people and my pastor, a 96-year-old man. But what I'm talking to you about today is come and help us. Um, why did I come here? I, I don't know. I, I watched my brother's son, 30-year-old son, 33-year-old son, come home for Christmas this past Christmas. And he was out at a hockey game and had a few beers and with friends at a house and ended up ended up going out to check on the cab at 3.30 in the morning, a cab that he had called, and the tracks in the snow showed that he had gotten two doors down and was beating on the door and hollering, open the door, this is Andrew, this is Andrew. And went around the back and opened the door, this is Andrew. And did that several times according to neighbor's testimony and went around the back the second time and the owner opened the door and shot and killed my beautiful nephew. And um, what's that got to do with being in Notre Dame and in this wacko protest? Well, nothing's been done with my nephew's murder. And uh, people just say, well, you know, it, it happened. And I've been saying for years I'm a good Catholic and I'm against abortion. And this isn't a Catholic issue. Notre Dame is a Catholic university. This is a Christian issue. This isn't even truly Christian. It's about humanity. How can we kill children? And when I think of my brother's son and my brother's wife, and they had their son laid in their lap like Mary had Jesus laid in his lap after Jesus was beat to death by a bunch of thugs and crucified, bodies taken off the cross, and it was placed in the lap of Mary. How that relates is that. How long can we stand around and not personalize this? You have to personalize abortion. It's murder. We're, we're murdering beautiful babies. I don't know why, and I, I just would like to be home doing my thing in a beautiful part of the country with a beautiful group of friends and church around me, but this isn't about saying I'm against abortion, it's about doing something. And if that means joining the wackos like I've been called and like I was arrested, do I look like I'm a criminal? I was arrested for criminal trespass and spent three days in jail. All I gotta do is tell you, please come, go to stopobamanotredame.com, find out what's happening here in South Bend. You know, these are good people here in South Bend. They don't want a disruption, and I'm not asking you to make a disruption, but stand up and quit letting death, and quit letting the death and murder of babies just say, well, yeah, I'm against that. Do something. I'm going to go home. I, I'm spent. Go to jail for this issue. You'll love it. I carry away far more than I brought. And you know what? I lost a few pounds on that jail cooking. It's not worth being in there for that, I'll tell you, but... God bless you, and I do hope you'll go to stop Obama and Notre Dame and come and join these beautiful people that have been called wackos that just care about life. We're not trying to disrupt anything except this terrible cycle of apathy that we've all entered into. Hello, my name is Dr. Gregory Thompson, and uh, I'm a fourth-degree knight of Columbus for over 35 years now. And I'm here in Notre Dame, at Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana, because of the moral decay and corruption that is going on in our country that now is being embraced by the uh, Notre Dame campus by bringing evil and lies into the children to be spoken to them by a president that endorses uh, 
abortion, the murder of children, that's increased that not only in this country, but wants taxpayers to pay for it throughout the world. He uh, uh, supports the perverted sin of a sodomy, and uh, he's saying that Jesus is a liar when he says that all religions are leading to uh, uh, heaven. We know that uh, Mary and Jesus would never invite darkness to come into the light. And that's what exactly what uh, Jenkins, uh, Father Jenkins is doing when he invites someone that uh, is, supports sin to come in and speak to our children, to our innocent children, and send them out into the world as if we embrace such a message. I invite those Knights of Columbus who are used to giving out roses uh, to support life to now become men and come up here and stand for a cause that will give you a joy throughout the rest of your life because you stood at a time of need. The urgency of our children requires it. We need to pray for this priest and, and for the bishops that are no longer uh, leaders, no, no longer true shepherds that will not come to the battles and lead the people. We need true men and women of God to come and stand with us for our Lord and Savior. They're about to lie to your children to say, by a man that God and his mother would never have come onto the campus that they were in charge of. Right now we have Father Jenkins who is trying to uh, bring someone on that believes in the murder of children. Come stand with us. We need everyone here that we can't that can come to turn this back around and stop the murder. God will never bless a nation that murders its children. God bless you. Come and join us.